everybody. It is Sunday, March 10th, and the kittens are four weeks old now. Yay! This is Campfire here. <laughs> this is Houdini, hanging out by my foot here. Ghost is over here, chilling out. And of course there's Honey, but she is about a year old, not four weeks. And I think we finally have the upper respiratory infections under control. I am like 95% sure that all of these cats will now make it, which is such good news. I was delivering bad news on these videos for so long, and it's good to have some good news now. So I had some questions from some people about fostering and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, what, it, what it's for. So the... <laughs> Oh, cuties. I'm starting to play now. It's so cute. Um, so the SPCA has a foster program where if they're unable to provide adequate treatment or rehabilitation for an animal in the shelter environment, they will foster out the animal to somebody's home so that they can get some more personal attention. Um, some common reasons they could get fostered, um, they just the animal just went, had a really big surgery uh, maybe the animal had some psychological problems that they need some behavioral one-on-one -on -one attention for. Um, hey there, cutie! Um, some animals, just their immune systems are just too weak to handle the shelter environment, which is what the case was with these guys. Um, these kittens literally would have all died in a shelter, honestly. Um, so I took them in to give them the care and attention they need to try to survive. So what do I actually do as a foster? Um, I've got their little kitty habitat set up here in the spare part of my bathroom. Uh, give them food, water, make sure they get their medication. Uh, check on them a few times a day, every few hours or so. Ghost is like snoozing over here. Snooze, snooze. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. Food, water, medication, check on them every few hours or so, and that's pretty much it. Um, why do I personally foster? Um, well, I, uh, 100% support what the SPCA does for animals. They just go above and beyond a hundred times for animals what any other shelter I've known would do for animals, and I want to support that. So, but a lot of people out there, or myself, like a lot of people out there, I do not have a bunch of expendable money that I can donate to the organization. Oh, you're gonna give me a little meow? <laughs> so, instead of donating my money to the organization, I donate my time, which is equally as important. So I do things like foster the kittens, and which is something that they really, really need. Um, this is so rewarding. I can literally look at these these four faces and say, I literally and personally saved these four animals' lives um, because of what I've done, because of taking care of them for a few weeks. And that is so rewarding. I love it. And it hardly cost me anything. That's why I do this. Um, right now, the SPCA is in desperate need of people to volunteer for kitten fosters. Um, they get litter upon litter upon litter into the shelters in the warmer months and they can never find enough kitten fosters. And, and like I said, the kittens literally, they'll, they'll die in a shelter environment. Their immune system just can't handle being around all the sick animals. So if you or someone you know is interested or think you, you know, maybe want some more information on fostering, uh, please send me a message. I'd be happy to get you some more information or hook you up with someone from the SPCA that can give you more information or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it. The kittens seem to be doing great. I thought Ghost would be a little bit more active tonight, but I guess she was active earlier today. So she's, she's a tired little baby right now. Um, so... Houdini's doing great, Ghost is doing great, here's Honey over here, and here's Campfire over here doing great too. So other than